Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode and as you can see the focus for today is going to be some more train tracks and developing up this area here as well. As we said in the last one we, I think we kind of got overly excited and that's not really what our original plan was. So today's episode is going to be all about changing this around, figure out the train tracks as well and just to try and get the trains work the way we want them to operate in this area and we'll definitely have at least a couple of them running around this place as well. All right, so let's get straight into it. Now, first thing I'd like to do, I've um, kind of cleaned up this area a little bit so we have no trees in our way. And what I've also done, and let's just resume you, just a little one, then it's almost done. I have actually hidden and moved all the cables underneath the train tracks. Just a tiny little thing, kind of looks a bit more spacious and tidy now, which is, of course, absolutely lovely. All right, so what I'd like to do with this station over here, I'd like this to be kind of like a like a tucked away, which it already is. And then I do want to connect these train tracks into the main system in here as well. So that's where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Now, if we want this to be a little bit more realistic i was thinking yeah that we could use those ramps in here but then i was like well if it's just a little bit of a hill and with the trains in real life as well you don't really want them to jump up and down especially if it is short distances so what we are gonna do we'll just use a little bit of dynamite in here and then we are gonna allow this train to cut through now hmm this whole zone is going to have to go. These ones out of the way. I've already moved around a couple of cables as well. So that at least these are not going to be in our way. They can still charge over here or just down the hill, which is fine. Um, cable, cables is something we are going to struggle with very, very soon, I think. So, all right, train tracks it is. And I think for the time being, we can connect you just like so. Yep, I don't think it's going to be a problem because we only have one set of tracks in here. And then same over here. You can go this way and... Oh yeah. Probably going to have to cut these ones off as well. The train's gone through. I hope it's not going to crash or anything. So let's place you over here. A high off priorities. And hopefully they'll be able to complete this very soon. Okay, another thing we are going to have to do is... Yeah, these power cables are all over the place, it feels like. But that's all right. We'll just build across it, over it. It's a little bit awkward and messy how it is. So I thought this might be a better way to go about it. But now that I look at it, I don't really like how it is. Yeah, what we might end up doing is we'll definitely move the power cables maybe towards somewhere here. So it looks a little bit cleaner at least. And then we might have to do the same in here as well. Um, connecting you up might be might be a little bit problematic, but we'll give it a try. You guys are gonna go right like so. Maybe pause it just for a second and delete this section. All right, here we go. Highest of priorities for you. I know you're gonna complain a little bit, but that's okay. And then we can just simply connect you all up as well. Okay, so there we go. That's looking good. Train tracks are going in as well. Dynamites are already in. Very lovely indeed. And we can pull you all the way through here. Now, the entrance to the station isn't looking the loveliest. So, this is something I'd love to use as well if we can. But I don't think... Hmm, I'm not sure if this is going to work well well in here let me just delete a couple of sections we'll have a look grab you again okay i mean it could work and then we can do maybe some lights over here well actually we might not be able to climb all the way down here but let's say if you go just like so we can't do lights on hmm okay we are gonna change you just a little bit because I'd like to have some traffic lights in place as well. So there we go. We'll um, give you the highest of priorities. We'll fix you up real quick. This one is going to have to go as well. Um, <laughs> they won't be able to climb down here. So let's use our favorite piece, which is the, the ladder, of course. And then maybe we can change you up a little bit as well. Let, let's see how we can 
really fix this. All right, so there we go. We can uh, put this wiggly piece in place again. And what this means is the straight road can go about here. I am going to pause you for, for a second, though. And then we'll fix you up as well. Then what we need is this small piece. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't think this looks... Hmm... Doesn't look like the nicest way to enter the station. But there isn't really much more we can do to make it smoother. I guess we are going to have to leave it uh, this way for the time being. So let's try and get everything constructed in here. So maybe we'll pause you as well. I believe they should be able to walk all the way through, get it done. Okay, lovely. You guys can construct this bit here as well. I think we are almost all good now, aren't we? Oh, hold on a second. These bits need to go as well. And then what we have to do in here, let's bring all of you overhead. All right. And I think that's all. Okay, what color is everything now? That is orange. We've got a bit of a blue section here. Oh, that's why. Here we go. Let's fix you up as well. And then we should be able to do some do some traffic lights here, right? Another thing. Let's have a look from here. This one. Well, this is probably where we're going to struggle a little bit. Let's see. Which way do you change direction? Okay. But this is going straight only now. And on this side, it's saying, no, do not enter. Okay, that's good to know. And then over here, you can go both ways. You can go, yeah, straight in here, and then you can come back. And do we need to tell you as well? I mean, I think somewhere here we do. So, for example, both of you should only go forwards. We don't want this train to enter this section here, turn around and go over here. No, that will be, will be silly. So, where are the lights? A um, little bit awkward. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Change direction. Here we go. And same only forward. Okay, lovely. Once we get these sections done as well, we'll, we'll be able to fix you up a little bit. I'd like to divide. Maybe not in... Hmm, let's do divide this section, actually. We'll see how the trains behave a little bit later as well, and then we can... Add some more sections if we have to. Probably around here. Yeah, this isn't really good section to have it because I have a feeling we might have to change a few things around in here as well. Now, the next things we would like to do, let's um, just zoom over the bridge real quick. So in the previous episode, I also said that I think I've gotten a few things mixed up and this section here wasn't actually supposed to be a forest that we are going to harvest. Yeah, the forest was supposed to be on the left side and on this side here as well. So um, I'd like to I'd like to change this again. Don't worry, it's not gonna happen just now. Uh, right now, what we'll do is we'll figure out where the train is gonna go from. Yeah, so we can change all this up a little bit as well. So let let's see. Right now, uh, the middle bits. Oh yeah, you're not really able to construct now, are you? No worries. Let's. Um, do we need to construct it or maybe not? Okay, let's have a lot, another look. So, if this is going to be the walkway, which, um, I, hmm, I mean, if it's like a side bridge, it's fine. I think the central sort of crossing, if we are going to this island, is going to be somewhere through the middle. So, why don't we draw a couple, couple roads in here. So, probably like this. This is like the main, main access for the beavers. Yeah, a little bit to this side, that side, and then this means... The main bridge system is going to go through somewhere around here. Uh, looking pretty good. I mean, it could change, actually. Maybe if this is... Let me just pause it top down, and here we go. Maybe if this is the new highway, we could also create a bit of an S-curve here. And then go right to the tip in here. And then have another bridge system to cross over from here. This could be a bit more sensible, and maybe even a bit more realistic. Who knows? I think it definitely will be a little bit more interesting. And then we'll connect them up. Okay, so um, that means we don't really have to worry about this area. Like the bridges will be kind of like a secondary problem or concern for us. What I can now do... Alright, you are still going to remain a little bit higher off the ground. 
Okay, another piece in here. Okay, so that should fix it up. And what we'll do over here now that this is where I'm a little bit torn. I know we're going to have a quite a bit of production in here, if that's the main road as well. And we want the train to go through here. But we also kind of want to have the train around here. So we might even run into a situation where, yeah, it's going both this way and this way. Hold on a second. Let's just, um, let's just pause all these bits and pieces. Here we go. I think this is one of those sections where the um, the switch train track is going to make a lot of sense. All right, let's have a, another look at this real quick. Then delete you and the decoration beast that we would like to have is, is you. All right, so here we go. We do want to start and continue using those slightly bigger pieces. They definitely look and feel a lot better. All right, these train tracks can go as well. And I think I've figured out that I'd like to change my... Well, I'm changing my mind. We're placing this ladder over here. We're going to let the beavers climb up and the bots, obviously, as well. And all right, so this piece here, definitely going to have some traffic lights. All right, guys, please don't construct everything in here. Uh, what can we do? Uh, lowest of priorities. So here we go. Oh, no, you guys are running through... Oh yeah, we're definitely going to have to delete something because someone will get stuck. Anyways, let's um, worry about it a little bit later. Now, with the tracks, let's put those down real quick as well. So that should be already fine, isn't it? Yep, you're going to go here. We can have lights here, lights here, and lights in here as well. I mean, I guess it's going to be a fairly straight route in here. Next thing I'd like to do, let's just figure out where this bridge system is going to be. I mean, it is going to be awkward, especially with the irrigation barriers as well. So it seems like that's the middle section here. So we can place a couple of you down pretty easily. It isn't going to look the best with, um, with these bits, but what it does mean... We can still have the barriers in place, which then means no contamination. Oh, yeah. And from this size, oh dear, it's not really even, is it? Well, how about we cheat a little bit? Move you things over. This one goes here. We'll delete this one and that one. All right, here we go. Another option we also have, we could make actually make it a little bit longer, which might make it look even better. All right, so let's take you back, let's say, a few tiles. Uh, yes, and let's see, you are going to go back a couple more tiles as well. All right, uh, probably want to speed this up just a tiny bit. Here we go. Can we use those metal bridges will definitely look a little bit, a little bit prettier. All right, delete these sections. And now what this means is we can use some trees to kind of hide this area a little bit. Yeah, maybe some buildings in here as well to make it look less like, a, I don't know, something <laughs> something weird. Okay, now next thing. You are, oh dear, it seems like there's an autosave. Here we go. And bad night started as well. Seeing that pop on the screen makes me really want to go and check and make sure that everything is still fine. But uh, do we trust ourselves? No, we don't. Let's have a look what's happening here. Okay, bit of a uh, flood. That should be fine. Uh, seven days. Okay, so that's the longest we've had. But then again, it's it should be nothing because everything's set up perfectly. Let's have a look at you. Yep, that one's flowing through. Um... Hold on a second. Why aren't you closed? Oh dear. Well, that was closed. That's exactly why we were wanting to hop over there. Okay, so let's have a look at you real quick. Okay, so when the bad tide ends, I see. Let's um, do the same in here as well. None of you are set up. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, drought starts will do the same thing. Drought ends drop it down okay lovely oh dear what's happening here i don't think you let's have a look at the settings any of them set up no bad tide ends number one number two close them up okay you guys are already closed that means you are actually set up so i must have forgotten a couple of pieces in here uh is that gonna drain the whole lake though 
you are on zero. Let's put you on 0 0.5. Because, yeah, I have a feeling it's going to drain the whole lake. And then these guys, I think the rest should be fine, right? Okay, here we go. I think we're good now. So, so let's jump back into the into the drains and our development plans in here. Okay, that section's demolished already. Now, we probably want those beavers to start crossing over, and I'd like to maybe start using some nicer looking stairs. So let's put them metal ones just like so. And then, oh dear, if that's going to be the highway, actually, never mind, we said it's going to be like, or have a bit of a curvature in its path. Yeah, maybe even this road is actually going to be somewhere here instead. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this might split it up a little bit nicer. And I just hope it's not going to go through another one. No, it isn't. Okay. All right, so I've allowed the game to run just for a little bit. The bad time is now over. And we just wanted to get a couple of those little things done. I mean, the, the distances from the district center are so big that everything just takes a very, very long time. We'd like to change this, however. So therefore, we are now going to place a district center over here. And that means the Forester will relocate just across the road. Then uh, right after that, I think this is where we are also going to do... Well, we'll have to create a little bit of space, I believe. Yeah, I'd like to do a district crossing piece over here. So let's have a look. One, two, three. Okay, I think it's just this bit that needs to go. Everything else should be fine. Then we are going to have a... Well, we're not going to have problems with power, I think. Because they... We've got charging stations over here. So all those beavers should be able to... Or the bots should be able to charge. And then as soon as we got the link from this side as well, we are going to gain access to all of these chargers. So yeah, we should be... We should be okay, but I guess we'll find out very soon. Now, the next thing I've kind of been thinking about how to build and what should we do in here as well. So, first of all, this section here and everywhere where we kind of raise the um, train tracks up a little bit higher with the levees and the decoration pieces. Now, this one needs to go first. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, everywhere where we are raising the land a little bit for the tracks, it feels like it's more, more industrial and more like scale comes to my mind so when we reach this area over here i feel like that is no longer necessary so what i would like to do is i'd like to bring them down to this level actually okay so we can make this or beautify it a little bit with these blocks as well and i think now it should be should be quite lovely the only other thing that's left to do is just a couple of train tracks in here as well we can create a bit more distance between them so maybe yeah maybe we'll just try and go around you and then one two three fourth maybe somewhere oh maybe not this one maybe the fifth one oh yeah we got some space over here so let's uh let's go through here and then let's have a look can we hmm no let's uh let's keep it straight and then here as well we can run through We'll have a couple more buildings in here. That's going to be one of our watering stations. All right, here we go. That's uh, that's all good and done as well. You're going to go into that corner. Oh, forgot about you, it seems. Unfortunate. The rest of you can be, can be sealed off, I think. All right, a couple of platforms as well. And we will be done in no time. Let's say we do one over here as well. Although we might not have the roads. But if we are going to do a forester in here. Then the forester is going to need some access. And these should definitely be the bits where we allow the, the beavers or the pots to cross over. Right, so to speed up the construction a little bit. I think we, we are going to have to make some drastic changes. So first of all, let's get rid of the forester got another one there already yeah it's gonna disrupt everything but it is something we we do have to do it's just taking way too long to build everything so this one uh, should be disconnected now what can we not the housing district management here we go we got the crossing here lovely let's uh, make sure this gets built right away and that's probably where we want to have at least at the start as many staff as 
possible. Okay, all of you are going to go here. And then how many bots do you have in this district? You've got 15 in total. Okay, and eight of them are jobless. Right, so um, <laughs> where's the center? Oh, here it is. Okay, we'll manage this real quick as well. Minimum is... Wait a second. It says 26 over here, but you've got 15. Oh, 15. Maybe they're working. Okay, anyways. So we are going to reduce you to, let's say, about 10. Let's have a look at this one again. Are we able to... Oh, yes, we... Maybe we can. Yes, we can. Right, let's uh, look at you as well. You are going to need a new name. So for the time being, let's just call it the forestry. I know, very original and very fun, but it's just going to be a little bit easier to identify what we have in here. So the minimum, let's go 20 and we should still have a couple spare, hopefully. All right, eight and 12 now. So eight of you have a job. 12 of you are still looking for one. No worries, we are going to need some construction bots, so uh, let's just switch you around real quick as well. These ones are being built, so we should start getting or receiving resources very soon. Everything else, oh dear, okay, I think we left them with the beavers, so um, yeah, quick uh, switch over. Here we go. Everything is going to be bots now, and the, okay, I think we are still going to need some more bots in here, isn't it? Okay, how about we say... Let's do like 35, because that seems to be like a pretty good number. Lovely. So that's done. Now, <laughs> connection-wise, we are going to need another district crossing somewhere here as well to, to manage this a little bit better. Where shall we do this, though? I do want to gain control for all of this. Right, so what I'm thinking, since resources might be a problem, why don't we use this as a temporary... Oh yeah, we could do this. So how about we delete this here, this one here, okay, that one's going to turn around and you are going to go straight in there. Now, since we have wrong one, there we go, let's grab the tracks again, fix you up real good, and there we go. Let's have a look over here. So we've got a few flags, that's where it's separated, but you guys are paused, so, hmm, hold on a second, you have to be paused. I really need this one to be done. All right, there we go. And the blanks in this one give you give you a highest of priorities. Actually, now we are going to have to pause you as well. Okay. Well, we're almost there. So you can go out from here and you can go in. Now the question is because are we going to need some flags in here? Because that's the whole whole section, which is a little bit annoying, of course. Yeah, all these charging stations will definitely have to go. We'll do it maybe a little bit later, but that's something we, we desperately require in here. How about we just add another train? Okay, here we go. One's over, over there. Now, you have pulled over in this station. Does that mean you can start driving? No, you cannot. Oh, dear. Okay. Fine. How about... Hmm, I'm going to have to change this up a couple of times now, don't we? Okay, so this one goes here, and that one. And then what we can do, let's add, let's add some, hmm, yep, I think that's how we are going to do it. And then this is where we can do the, do the flags, put the station in the middle, separate it from the rest of the track. And what about you? Can you start driving as well? You we can go through here. Oh, yes, of course. They still don't have access in here. I'm going to try and fix this up and then we'll be back as soon as the train is functional. All right, so it's taken me quite some time to play around with the tracks in here and to get it to work. And for some reason, trains just did not want to go there. But this is actually not even kidding. The first train that is finally going into the forestry district. And uh, yeah, it's delivering well needed or much needed resources. That was a little bit awkward. Just went through the trees over there, it seemed. But uh, okay, where's the second one? I'm pretty certain I saw you turning this way as well. Are you waiting here? That's because this whole leg is one big section. Okay, so that's pretty annoying. Uh, right, change the direction as well. That's a new... I do like it how it's different, uh, different colors now. That definitely helps helps a lot with this okay let's change you up as well which way are you going now okay so that's one big section and we have the pink in here 
Okay, let's do another this way. All right, are you still able to... Oh, I think we have lost the drain somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. And this last bit, although it is fairly lengthy, actually, yeah, let's uh, do another section here going that way. Oh, wow. Okay. Gotta say, pretty happy that it's up and running now. So you're waiting here. They can switch over as well. Now you're gonna wait for a little bit. Yeah, this leg over here isn't isn't very good for us. It's a very, very long section. And we can't really do much about it until we build a, another track. Okay, so that one's connecting farm. This one's connecting scrap city. And we have the second train going to a forest stream. What I might do, let's do a third train. Let's see what happens now. We're probably gonna run into some problems very soon. But... I think it, it's okay. Let's let's see how it goes. At least we get some resources moving as well. Yeah, I think the games run for quite a few beaver days and they just... Because everything is so far away, they just can't complete anything. Uh, what about you guys? Are we... Are we shipping some resources over as well? Well, everything is pretty much loud. What about you? Let's have a look. Manage distribution. Uh, yep, logs and stuff. Everything is import always. And this one's fine as well. We've not really denied anything. So, I mean, we should be getting stuff, right? Let's just have a quick double check in here. No, blanks is pretty low. What about you in here? 158. Okay, so it seems our blank situation in general is not very good okay now we can change that pretty easily let's just build a few few extra factories around the place i'm also what i've done i've deleted all the forest trees so we're not planting any new trees because all that is going to come from our new district so okay power wise you are all connected now yeah okay well we have a ton of spare beavers in here so hopefully we can produce some more some more planks and stuff. Get this thing going. And then uh, let's have a look over here real quick as well. Yeah, switching and changing things around isn't going to be as quick as we were hoping, perhaps. Highest of priorities. They, well, at least they've been building the tracks over here. But that takes planks as well. And that really shouldn't be a priority. Actually, do you know what we'll do? We are just going to deprioritize everything in here. I don't think we want to have it constructed oh and you guys are super slow because you've run out of power as well okay so we've had a bit of progress everything is starting to green up now finally and uh yeah we're definitely already planting down some pine trees as well so what i'm thinking this side of the the, the i guess it's an island or whatever it is but on this side of the land we are going to do just pine trees and um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be kind of like if we go back all the way here. Kind of like this zone in here. So yeah, a couple of foresters. We'll have the tapper shacks as well. And a few storages. And then just, yeah, harvesting the, the pine resin. And then the other stuff can be on the bigger side. Because we're going to need quite a few oak trees to replace the what we have on the mainland right now. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't want to place them too close to the tracks to keep it somewhat realistic, I guess. So if it's like a like a tile away, I think that's, that's pretty good. And then here as well, I'm not going to leave it as boxy as it looks like right now. I'm just trying to feel, because the forester is just sitting and doing nothing. I just want to make sure he goes around and plants as many trees as he can. Okay, so there we go. A couple more over here as well. And, um... Can't get all required material extract. Oh, really? There's tons of it over here. Okay, so I guess we are still waiting for uh, some of that. But anyways, the rest of the dynamites can already go, which means, hopefully, we'll be able to start placing some platforms down as well. The reason why I say hopefully is our blank situation was not very good. It seems we've gone up a little bit. So now we're at 350, 370, 380. Okay, so maybe maybe we are starting to improve a little bit. But um, okay, so you guys are pretty full as well. And that's probably because we don't have any storages in here. That's definitely something we do have to change as well. But we're not going to do it just yet because, yeah, this zone needs to change quite a bit. Right, 
anyone else that doesn't have anything to do can probably go and start harvesting and cutting down the trees from the uh, from the other side. All right, so there we go. The second moisturizing station is pretty much ready as well. Just waiting for that stream gauge to complete. And here we go. So the usual settings, I think we'll go about 2.8 and unbores when we are. Uh, 2.5 is pretty good. And same with you as well. We are keeping the double dropper sort of set up. Okay, here we go. And the final one is fully set up now as well. Oh dear, a drought has uh, started, but that's okay. Eight days we should have. I think we should be okay. Then uh, with the district over here, we can safely leave you for, for the days and years and cycles to come because I don't think there's going to be anything too drastic over here. This one is just going to be for pine resin farming and with the train station actually... I think we're just going to be passing through this zone here and we don't really need a station to pick up pine resin unless unless you guys say that hey let's um let's definitely do a train station here as well so then maybe some of the trains have more of a reason to come here and i mean actually it's not too difficult we we could sacrifice a few trees and then make this go straight through here into a station and then connect over here again uh now that I say it out loud, it just, yeah, it's starting to make more and more sense. So, um, connection wise, how are we going to do this? Okay, so we're going to have to delete a few things, unfortunately. Firstly, you guys are going to go and then grab a couple more pieces. I do like those, yeah, slightly bigger bits and pieces because the, the curvature and everything it just makes it look super smooth and I do love it highest of priorities not for you let's just get rid of all the all the rubble in here and uh, okay so uh, we're not too far off actually so we might want to have a light here as well and I think that's pretty much it isn't it yeah so we do we're going to do one light over here and another light somewhere i don't know maybe here and here so this can be like a, a a section itself as well which way are you going you're gonna go this way we can't do one here yet and um, i don't think we're gonna do one here i don't know we'll see um okay so we'll leave them to build this section this actually oh they're not gonna be able to how about we pause you for the time being now we shouldn't really place any trees in here right so how about we do some blueberries instead? Just makes it look a little bit more lovely, isn't it? Yeah, the rest should be fine. You're going to be paused. We'll pause this one here as well. The station isn't so urgent, so you're going to be paused for the time being as well. And with the trees in here, maybe we should change you up a little bit. Because you are next to the station. Maybe this is where we shall have some cheeky blueberries instead. And uh, last but not least, we should probably connect you up like so mm, no that's gonna be a blueberry and yeah i just want to make sure everything's nice and safe in here that the train conductors can see where they go in yeah don't want any accidents to happen here do we all right so i think we're uh, pretty much done everything is constructed here for the trees themselves and they are actually almost done as well 88 percent left which is lovely now the train station, I have shifted it a little bit, so we could place another flag over here. Alright, so one goes there, I'd like to do... Which way are you facing now? Uh, that's the wrong way. And then, um, yeah, like uh, another section in here. I uh, will probably have to... Oh dear. So that's a big section. No, we still have to do one over here as well now, don't we? Okay, there we go. And then uh, with this train station here, the only thing we are going to export... Oh dear. No, we shouldn't really bring anything here, right? So we're going to cancel cancel you all. And the only reason why trains should come here is to get... Is this still working? Okay, here we go. It's just to get the pine resin. So here we go. That one's set up as well. Yeah, the track itself is not complete yet. I've changed it around a little bit as well. Because before we had the... Let me just grab the tracks. Uh, actually, I can't show you. 
So uh, it was going from somewhere around here and I thought, okay, so if we are going to have to delete this or bring the train tracks up, we might as well go up from here. Yeah, and then cross over from this side here, just so we can get uh, kind of, I, I guess when we are on the train, a little bit nicer view of everything that we have in here as well. And then, um, yeah, then what I also have done here, whilst I was waiting for everything to be constructed, is to um, make this tank a little bit longer because we had like a four tile cap of fertility over here. So that was a little bit annoying, but no worries. It's pretty much fixed now. I think some of those trees might struggle here a little bit, but everything else is fine though. And then last but not least, I have a quick experiment. I've never really placed them inside the river. So I thought, okay, let, let's see what happens. So as soon as the, the drought is over, we shall see if that works or I mean, they probably don't work like this and we'll probably have to place them up on the riverbank. Other than that, everything else is complete and I and I think we can call it a bit of a success indeed. Yeah, we've got a train station here, the tracks are going through and although we don't have any trains that have gone through here just yet, I think in the future it's going to look pretty lovely once the trees are grown and then um, when we have this area built up as well and then of course we are still going to have to change up you again into a more of a production zone. But other than that, I think we can be quite happy. So that's going to be the end of the episode. And I'll see you again in the next one. <laughs>